on Hassan II mosque because it was built by the king Hassan II. And by the way, you know Hassan II is the father of our current king Muhammad VI. And he was a king of Morocco between 1961 until 1989. The relationship with the construction of the mosque was precisely between 11 of July. 1987, and it was finished in 31 of August 1983. The whole of the mosque was built only six years. Inauguration was precisely in the day of uh, th th 31 of August. Normally, it was a day of celebration of the, of the birth of the, the day of the Prophet Muhammad. And you know, the whole of the mosque you can see here is in the water, this part of the mosque here. In the past, you used to be a tansik. But you know, we were teenagers, we used to come here to fish and outside to swim. Uh, the enterprise with this mosque is a fresh enterprise called Bouygues International. Even the architect of the mosque was a French architect, Michel Pensou, with whom were 77 Moroccan architects. The materials with which the mosque is built with the materials are local from here, from Morocco. For example, you see the decoration that has been brown everywhere. That is the cedar wood. And the cedar wood is from Middle Atlas Mountains, in the exact town called Ifran. By the way, Ifran is a couple of kilometers away from Fes. The whole pillars of the mosque you can see here are the Korean granite from Antiatas Mountains for the Sedes country. In the suburb of a town called Tefraut, and also the whole mile is local, only the chandeliers are from Morano from Italy. And about the capacity of the mosque, there is 25,000 persons inside, and outside it is 80,000 persons, and you can see here, ladies upstairs, here, and that's the man. Of course, you know, whenever we look at our prayers, we have to face the direction of Mecca. And you could the Arabic language, Qibla. And here is Mecca. Because normally, you know, all the mosques always are oriented towards the, towards the east, exactly. And you know what, what is gorgeous today? That you find this roof open. Always it is closed. Only opens normally in some time. Why do I today? Because today the weather is very, very nice, very hot. And is open in order to lead the circulation of the air inside the Damascus. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, of course, Damascus is in the water and there's the influence of the image. That's for this reason, at least once a week, in, 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 they open for to lead the circulation of the air here. And you know, because they're told Damascus is in the water and there's the influence of humidity. And sometimes, even they open the doors and the breeze comes from the Atlantic. It happens in, in, in Friday, because in Friday, <coughs> there is a very important number of people. But in Ramadan, it's something, it is an, another story. Ramadan, for example, we have like 25,000 inside and we have 80,000 outside. And in the mosque, you can observe everywhere. You can see on the top, we have verses for the Holy Quran. Please go there. Mm. Wherever you see the, and it is Ayat al-Kursi, right, right, right. which is the first of the tribe. Because only the mosque is impossible to encounter physical presentations, mm -hmm. icons, images, statues. No. But you have always our verses from the Holy Quran over there. Clear? Mm -hmm. And on, on the top also we have the names of God. We have like 99 names of God. Okay. And they're written over there. there. Bismillah rahman rahim in the name of God, the magnificent, the merciful. And we have all the names on the top here of the mosque. And of course you can see this mosque there is a masterpiece. And in reality you are very lucky because you know it is open and for this reason you can see the whole decorations that you have in this piece of the Look, please, it is decorations, please. Something gorgeous. Mm -hmm. By the way, you know, you know the construction of the mosque over here, 12,500 persons were involved in the construction. Among the 18,000 artisans who came from different parts of the country. From Marrakesh, from Fez, from Mekines, from Safi. And they used to work day and night also job for six years. Something is very gorgeous and very beautiful, in fact. But of course, you can observe normally, no more in concrete, but they quite it with cedar wood. And why the cedar wood? Because it's very expensive and can last for centuries and centuries without being affected by the time. Cedar? Yes, cedar wood, of course, yes. Cedar from Lebanon? Yeah, yeah. No, from here, from, from Morocco, here. Sir, yes. Okay. You know, Morocco is next to a town called Ifran. Okay. It's a beautiful city here in Morocco, yeah. Even in the Bible, if you read, you know, the King Solomon, or to make the temple in Jerusalem, he brought the cedar from Lebanon, the king mm -hmm. Haram, Haram of Lebanon, mm -hmm. yes. And also we have also here the cedar wood. Very clear? Mm -hmm. Nice? So, um, right now,
prayer and worship is held here or on Friday. Uh, of course, dear lady, we have always five prayers here, lady, in the mosque. In front of what they have the place where the worship, the, uh, I mean, the prayers are held. But here in Friday, we have like more than half of the mosque is full of people, which mm -hmm. will like 12,000 to 15,000 persons are here in the mosque. But here Ramadan, mm -hmm. this is another story, 25,000 inside, and outside it is 50,000. So what's behind those doors? Are these doors where the gentleman... I'm sorry, I forget my... Uh, okay. He's only open whenever the king comes here. He comes, he's open sliding, and the king with his guests, they pass in the center. This part of the mosque is the center for the king. It's the king going until they reach the mihrab, which is in front. I'm going okay. to see it next. Okay. Central royal yes. entrance. Yes, exactly, sir. Yes, exactly, the gentleman. Yes, of course. Mm. Okay, yalla, come on, please. Follow me, yalla. How often does the king come? Normally, the king uh, comes here. It depends on the situation, of course, you know. Mm -hmm. But generally, officially, generally comes in the day of 27. Because it's the day of the revelation of the Holy Quran. It is the day of Qadr, which means night of destiny, mm -hmm. to celebrate this night, this holy night. Mm -hmm. uh, Muhammad VI. His name is, is King of Morocco since 1989, and his father is Hassan II. He was the King of Morocco between 1961 until 1989. And the grandfather of Hassan II, the of Muhammad VI, Muhammad V, was the airport in his name. Mm -hmm. He was the King of Morocco between 1927 until 1961. And by the way, you know, Muhammad V is the father of the independence of Morocco. Mm -hmm. He's beloved by all the Moroccans. You know, the kings, mm -hmm. all the kings of Morocco are beloved by, you know, our king is beloved by everybody because, in fact, he's a very good person. <laughs> Look, please, to this uh, beautiful marble. It looks as if it were a carpet. It's like a carpet, of course, you know? Yes. And also, we have water over there. Okay, just only because, you know. <coughs> and here, we have in the mosque, we have 360 loudspeakers. For example, <laughs> like, like in here, you see? Mm -hmm. The loudspeakers are here, it's a very good installation. And also, we have other ones on the top, the boxes here. See? Oh, yeah. Oh, those are speakers. In the corner. Yes, of course. They are integrated in the decoration of the mosque. Mm -hmm. Right. Because you know, when the Imam speaks about that, his voice will be heard all over the mosque. Mm -hmm. who, is, who is the Imam of this mosque? Normally, in, in Ramadan, there is a very famous Imam, very famous. If you put in Google, his name is Omar Qazabri. Qazabri. Omar Khazab is a very famous Imam here in Morocco. Mm. And in Ramadan is the one who, because Taraweeh in Ramadan, we have 25,000 persons, is the one that recites the Holy Quran. Okay. The whole book of the Holy Quran. Mm. <coughs> it has to be a privilege to be the pastor of this one. <laughs> mm. 